Hey guys, it's Michael. With Democrats and Republicans still at an impasse over the second stimulus package and cases starting to rise in the US and in Europe, the stock market will still remain volatile moving forward. The Dow Jones and S&P 500 fell for three straight days this past week and it was the longest losing streak for the averages since mid September. So in today's video, we're going to go over exactly what is going on with the second stimulus check and cases rising and how this will affect the stock market. And if you enjoy this sort of content, well then please be sure to like the video down below and subscribe to my channel. So investors and traders should expect a very volatile market to continue, especially as the worsening virus data and lack of US stimulus draw attention away from strong earnings season so far. Tom Essay, founder of The Sevens Report, in a note to clients said that the combination of no stimulus, fading economic momentum, and the threat of rising virus cases creates a rather negative dynamic for risk assets right now. The seven day average of newly virus infections in the US has risen in 39 states, including New York, New Jersey, Wisconsin, among many other states, according to CNBC analysis from the Johns Hopkins University and the US Census Bureau. At the nationwide level, the rate of new daily cases is at the highest level it's been since August earlier in the year. On top of all this, in Europe, the seven-day average of new cases has surpassed that of the U.S., leading several countries in the region to reinstate tougher social distancing rules and roll back previous reopening measures. So things are starting to get worse with the virus. Basically, what this means is that economic activity may slow down for a bit. And we've already started to see that in some of the data because with the weekly jobless claims numbers released this past Thursday, the Labor Department said that the initial U.S. claims for unemployment was 898,000 claims in the week ending October 10th. So they're starting to increase again and they're not going to get better. These numbers show how the economy reached a point where things aren't going to get better. Things are only going to get worse without more stimulus. And finally, investors need to make sure to keep an eye out on Washington during the week ahead as lawmakers continue to struggle over the second stimulus package. But ultimately, the stalemate between Republicans and Democrats is only hurting those in need. The back and forth between the two parties has dwindled expectations among market participants of a compromise being reached on the second stimulus package before the November 3rd election. And now there are a lot of concerns around the U.S. economic recovery as well. But ultimately, to regular everyday people, small and medium-sized businesses, the airlines, all of this going on in Congress is not just about politics. This is everyday life. and There's going to be an impact in the real economy if we don't see more stimulus passed soon. So anyways, that's just a quick update on what's going on with stimulus, the economy, and the stock market. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you next time.